Hello everyone. Yesterday we discussed about the first part of the second chapter, Law Spring from Flamingo. I hope you understood it. Today we are going to discuss the second part of that particular chapter that is I want to drive a car. If you want to understand better, you may open your book and also find the word meaning of particular word. So let's read the second part of Law Spring. The second part of the chapter is I want to drive a car. Mukesh insists on being his own master. The story is about poor Bengal makers of Firuzabad and about Mukesh. He is the main character of this particular part of the chapter. He insists, he says repeatedly on being his own master. He wants to be an owner, does not want to be a servant. And he says, I will be motor mechanic. He announces, even he announces, he announces that he would be a motor mechanic. He will not work as a bangal maker in the glass blowing furnaces. Do you know anything about cars? I ask. Here the author asks him one more, one question. Do you know anything about cars? She is asking about cars. And he says, I will learn to drive a car. He answers, looking straight into my eyes. And the manner of his answering was quite clear. He was looking straight into the eyes of the author. It means he was confident, determined. His dreams looms like a mirage amidst the dust of streets that fill his town, Firozabad. And his dreams looms like, seems to be like a mirage. Mirage is a kind of hallucination. It's a kind of hallucination or some illusion, especially in the desert. When we see from, from a distance and we observe that there would be some water, but when we reach to the particular point, there is no water at all. It's a kind of mirage, illusion. Amidst the dust of streets that fills his town, his town was filled with dust of Bengal making. And he wants to be a motor mechanic. So his dream was in doldrum, was not certain, and there was no, no mean to him to be a motor mechanic. Firuzabad, that is famous for its Bengals. Every other family in Firuzabad is engaged in making Bengals. Almost each and every family was engaged in making Bengals, was in the profession of making Bengals. It is the center of India's glass blowing industry, where families have spent generations working around furnaces, welding glass, making bangles for all the women in the land, it seems. Here all the families spend their generations, their whole life, working around the furnaces, in a, around the furnaces, hot furnaces, and welding the glass joining joining the piece of glass form forming a bangle making bangles for all the women and seeing the hip of bangle you you may think ki this is the place this is the land where bangles are made for all the women of the land of the world mukesh family is among them and mukesh who wants to be to be a motor mechanic was among these families None of them know that it is illegal for children like him to work in the glass furnaces with the high temperatures in dingy cells without air and light. But none of them was aware that it was illegal. It was against the law for children, especially children below 40, below 14, to work in such kind of hazardous 
occupations where they have to work around the furnaces with high temperatures and these are dingy cells dark and dirty no proper lighting is there there is darkness no ventilation at all no air no light that the law if in force could get him and all those 20000 children out of hot furnaces where they slog their daylight hours the author says if it was ensured that the laws implemented on those professions to around around 20000 children like mukesh who were working in the hot furnaces could be taken out from this profession where they slog where they spend all their daily hours from morning to evening often losing the brightness of their eyes and they often lose the brightness of their eyes and they become become blind mukesh eyes beam as he volunteers to take me home when the narrator when the author was talking with their particular boy he becomes volunteer and even request her to come to his house and his eyes were beaming there was some shining of being a volunteer which he proudly says is being rebuilt and he very proudly says the house in which he was living was rebuilt was renovated building again he walked down stinking lanes chalk with the garbage and they started going to his home and while going they passed through stinking lanes 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 are the small streets and full of stinking smell it was foul smell and it was choked with garbage totally blocked filled with garbage heaps of garbage rubbish past home that remains hovels with crumbling walls and the past homes homes are kind of hovels not actually home these are just hovels small rooms that that are unsuitable to live in and their walls are crumbling walls there are some gaps cousin or it was breaking from somewhere to somewhere wobbly doors and the doors of these were wobbly moving door not perfectly formed or not perfectly firm there are some gaps between the doors no windows crowded families of humans and animals coexisting in a primeval state and there they were these houses these apartments were crowded filled with families of human and also with them living animals and they were living in they were living like a primeval state of the ancient time where animal and human being lived lived together so they coexisted living together he stoops at the door of one such house he stops at the door of one such house bangs the wobbly iron door with his foot and he doesn't open it but bangs hits it hard with his foot to open it and it was already a wobbly iron door moving iron door made of iron and it was moving and pushes it open we enter a half built shack and they enter a half built shack shack a hut meant a hut that was half built in one part of it thatch with dead grass and one part of that hut was thatched the roof that is made with dry grass or some other things like hay or in rural side we say we say bamboo sticks like that or dead grass is a firewood stove over which sits a large vessel and in that head around the firewood stove sits a large vessel of sizzling spinach leaves something was boiling that is sizzling boiling 
spinach leaves it's a vegetable spinach we say palak in hindi on the ground in large aluminium platters are more chopped vegetables and there are some more aluminium platters big plates in which some more chopped vegetable that is cut into size were over there a frail young woman is cooking the evening meal for the whole family and in that hut a frail a weak young woman is cooking the evening meal for the whole family through eyes filled with smoke she smiles but she smiles however her eyes were filled with smoke she is the wife. mukesh elder brother not much older in years she has begun to come out respect as the bahu the daughter in law of the house already in charge of three men that woman was the wife of mukesh elder brother however she was not older in years but she she has begun to come on she now get the respect being a bahu of the family you may call the daughter in law of the house and she was already in charge of three men her husband mukesh himself and their father when the older man enters mukesh father enters she gently withdraws behind the broken wall and brings her veil closer to her face as custom commands this is the custom in indian rural side they put on veil we know as ghungat on her face when some elder member enters so this was the custom that daughter in law must veil must hide their faces before male elders in this case the elder is an impoverished bengal maker in this case the elder is an impoverished bengal maker impoverished poor or if we talk about his health he was weak and thin bengal maker despite long years of hard labor first as a tailor then a bengal maker he has failed to renovate a house he worked as a tailor first then as a bengal maker but after doing these two works after being engaged in two professions he failed to renovate to build again his house send his two sons to school he failed to send his two sons to school all he has managed to do is teach them what he knows the art of making bangles he just managed to teach them what he knows and what he knows only the art of making bangles he taught them how to make bangles in our next video we will sum up this chapter stay tuned and must see the third part of this chapter the lost ring thank you